Well, hello, guys, and all of you jazz cats. Um, I thought I would uh, show everybody, like, a kind of a hip little chord melody to play on Autumn Leaves, which is kind of one of those Mary Had a Little Lamb jazz tunes. And, um, <clears throat> you know, some way to spice it up and make it more interesting or entertain yourself or impress your family and friends. And uh, it's relatively simple. You know, we're using some modalities and some borrowed tonalities and things like that. Um, but I thought I would just go through step by step and show you some of these substitutions. Um, and this may actually uh, improve your uh, jazz comprehension or um, <clears throat> just play, you know, your abilities and things like that. Uh, more than a lot of other lessons, you know, come to think of it. I just kind of randomly thought of this today. Um because this is such a go-to type of tune, you know. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. So basically, you know, we're uh, starting in C minor, C minor 7. Okay, so what we're going to do, you know, I like, I like to hit this. I use my thumb, okay? So get over that, first of all. So following, following that up, you know got an E, you know, like an E minor, uh, E major triad, E minor, uh, E flat, I mean, I'm sorry, E flat major, you know, F major, G minor, you know, and then E flat major again. kind of following that same um, pattern throughout the entire piece with some alterations, which I will describe. And then state the chords again. All right. And then we just go straight into what would be the B flat major. So let's do this again. See? E flat major nine. Then we go. So, C minor, D minor, E flat major, and then, so this A minor 7 flat 5, instead of playing this kind of voicing, we're playing that kind of voicing because it's got the note on top. So. Either one. You can either do a, a D9 or a D flat or a D7 flat 9. I kind of just prefer to just play a more simple chord there because there's already a ton of things happening. So here. You know, we, we've got, uh, like, the, the top of a G minor 7. And then we're, we're kind of sliding into um, what is, um, you know, however you want to look at this. Um, it's G, B flat, E. And then slide that up a whole step. And hit your top melody note back to G minor seven, and then add the dominant, uh, the major third, and the sharp five. Right. So again, 
And that's the first statement that we have. Um, and then we start repeating, you know, again. And then here's the difference. Um, so I, I like to play, you know. At this point, maybe a, a D seven flat nine, and then A flat thirteen, and then A seven flat five, or, or A seven sharp four, sharp eleven, whatever you want to. So. G minor seven, uh, made uh, G dominant seven sharp five. So I like to just you know take take the top of that chord, just chromatically shift it. Actually, um, so here's a A minor seven flat five, but you have the A on top. Right, so it's kind of like that's why I use my thumb if I'm playing it in a position where you can't hit an open string. You can't really play this chord. You actually can't play that chord very well at all without using your thumb. See? Um, so. What I like to do is go drop that down from E flat to a D. And then just kind of do a sus thing. So it's D, F, C, uh, D, and A. G minor 7. Then, you know, that same chord, the, the dominant, alter dominant. Then we're going to kind of use a chromatic thing with this. We'll just stay on that chord so we can make it a little more poignant sounding by doing an F7 flat 9 so either way you want to do it you know you could go or or just you know And then, so what I like to do here is just hit an F, right? So we're going to go. So it's a very poignant type of uh, chord there. And that's just F to E flat minor with the F still in the bass. Yeah. B flat major seven, E flat major seven, and then we can just do the top of an E flat major seven. So it's 
So this is an A7 flat 9 with um, a sharp 11 on top, which is an E flat, which is... This resolves to uh, A7 sharp 9. And then we're just going to go to D7. And then um, add the flat 9. Yeah. And then G minor 9. Right. Then I'm going to do tritone substitutions going down. So G minor seven. I'm jump G minor nine. Then um, G flat seven sharp nine. Right. Okay. So see this. This is an interesting chord. Um, so you could just be playing. So this is kind of like a minor seven with the six in it. It's like it's kind of like another minor six voicing. So but it really kind of sounds cool in the context of, of these chord changes as a passing chord. Back to that voicing for the minor seven uh, flat five. And then again, A flat 13. Okay, so all together I'm gonna play it really slow.
there you have it. Uh, kind of just doing a little bonus improv at the end there. Um, anyway, I hope you've gotten something out of this. Um, be sure to like and subscribe, of course, and uh, I'll see you on the next video.